New at 6, police say they're unraveling new crimes that are connected to a group of juveniles in Renton. Today, a judge called one of those young suspects a clear risk to the community and made a decision on whether to keep them all in detention. Come as Jeremy Harris has been following this investigation. Jeremy, what's the latest? Well, Molly and Eric, we learned today that one of these juvenile suspects who was released last week on electronic home monitoring has now been rearrested after police said they connected him to a burglary at a gun shop. Renton police say they are trying to crack down on juvenile crime and they want the courts to hold these kids accountable. In court and staying in custody for now. Three teens appearing in juvenile court this afternoon after prosecutors filed charges for an attempted armed carjacking in Renton last week. 43rd foot bail, foot bail. This video shows police nabbed the suspects after the stolen car they were in crashed while trying to get away from officers. I got five. Police say they're still sorting out weeks worth of crimes by groups of juveniles, including teens who pointed a gun at two kids and then fled from a police helicopter. Just turned on a Hauser way. We now know police believe 11 suspects broke into this Renton gun shop at night and got away. But now police say they've identified one of those suspects from this burglary as one of the five that were arrested after this crash and foot chase with the carjacking suspects last week. Today in court, a judge ruled that the three suspects who've been charged so far will have to stay in youth detention. One suspect is just 13 years old, and we learned today he's had 16 bench warrants. The serious nature of these charges here, which create a clear safety risk for the community, I will order secure de detention. Renton's chief has said his officers are dealing with the same kids over and over in crimes that leave innocent victims in their path. A law without consequences is just a suggestion, and I think that's what they're taking it as. They're, 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 they're brazen enough where they don't, they're not worried about any consequences or repercussions. Now, you heard that, right? That was 13-year-old suspect, 16 prior bench warrants, Today, the probation officer said that it's not just safer for him to stay in custody or for the community. It's also safer for him to stay off the streets for now. We are going to be in close contact with prosecutors here because there may be additional charges to come in this case later this week. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News.